Hey, what is going on guys? Anthony here with another episode of Prime Coding, and in today's video, what we are going to be doing is another viewer requested video. Now, this viewer requested video is going to be a meme command, basically. Um, you do meme, or memes, whatever you want the command name to be, command name to be, and, uh, basically, it just <laughs> shoots a random meme, I guess. Um, so... All the coding is going to be done in the app.js or your main code. We are going to require one, uh, I forgot the name of it already. Well, but we are going to need Super Agent API. Um, it's really all I can think of for now to say, but let's get into coding. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our terminal. We are going to do npm install super agent. Dash s save. And it's going to install Super Agent. And it looks like it all worked and everything, so we're all good. So we can just go ahead and clear this. And in the main part of the code, at the very top, we're going to do const super agent equals require. Open a set of parentheses and quotation marks, super agent, and put a semicolon on the end of that. Now we're going to go into our message event where we put the command handler. We're going to make a couple lines. And I would like to keep note of this because this is a command that is going to be in the main code. So what we're going to be doing is do a f two forward slashes for the start of a note. And we're going to be doing um, start of meme command. This is just to keep everything organized and make another one called like end of meme command. You don't have to do this. It's fine. Um, I just recommend to just because I like to. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is we are going to, first part of the code, we're going to do if set of parentheses cmd equals 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 backticks dollar sign squiggly brackets prefix. Now, whatever you have in your config.json. So if you followed the first episode where we made the prefix, uh, which is the uh, database, JSON file is a database, um, so if you followed that episode, uh, you could copy this if you don't have this right here. Um, if whatever you named this right here, you have to put it inside these squiggly brackets. So if it's prefix, don't worry about that, just leave it as it is. Prefix, and whatever the command name you want to be, so we can put meme. Meme. And we're going to go all the way to the right of that, we're going to do a set of squiggly brackets. And we're going to do let's msg, the stands for message, equals await message dot channel dot send. Open set of parentheses and quotation marks. Generating. And put, and uh, not put, okay. Let's go into a new line. Let's open a set of uh, squiggly brackets. Body equals await super agent go into a new line dot get open a set a of uh, uh, parentheses back ticks and this link I'm going to leave down in the description below basically this is the source where the bot is going to be getting the meme from and it's going to be outputting it into a uh, picture format so we're gonna go here and I'm gonna show you guys so if I paste the link in here and if I was to copy this link right here and we put it in here it's gonna show a meme saying April Fool's Day is over everything is on the internet is true again so <laughs> So yeah, that link will be down in the description. So I'm gonna go over here and copy this right now. Let's 
and go ahead and put it in the uh, let's see some back ticks. Go to the right of that, put a new line, console.log, open set of parentheses, body dot file. Go out of that, we're gonna do, uh, go into another line, if, open a set of parentheses, and an explanation point in there, open a set of squiggly brackets, body, so basically that means if there isn't a body, return message dot channel dot send, open a set of parentheses and quotation marks, we're gonna do, I failed to load the juicy meme. Please try again. And go into a new line, and right now we're going to be making the embed. Basically, uh, if you have a help command, uh, the Discord rich embed, that's basically it. So we're gonna do let's m embed equal new discord dot rich embed and open a set of parentheses and just leave those empty go into a new line we're gonna do dot set color and open a set of parentheses and quotation marks so for me we're gonna do random basically uh, the code is gonna be picking the random color but if you would like to pick a specific color like a custom one instead of doing like just typing red green aqua and all that J you can go to a um, color hex picker and just go here and you know move all these things around to what you would like for a custom color and you would just have to copy these numbers and the uh, number sign hashtag whatever you want to call it and just put it inside the parentheses where it shows dot set color with the quotation marks so if you just want to do random uh, like I said just put random in all caps in the uh, quotation marks and uh, the code would just randomly pick a color it's not gonna pick the same color over and over it's made to randomly pick a color so uh, we're gonna go into a new line we're gonna do dot set author do a set of parentheses and quotation marks. Memes, uh, basically, you can do whatever you want here. It doesn't have to, you know, um, show anything. Um, if you want to, you can put a comma outside of the quotation marks, and you can do bot dot user dot display avatar URL. So avatar is gonna have a capital A, and URL are gonna be all in caps. Uh, you don't have to have it basically that's going to display the bots profile picture what you have for it so we're going to go into a new line we're going to do dot set image nope image and put a set of uh, parentheses and we're going to do body dot url so basically the reason why we're doing body dot url is because we let over here we did let body equals await super agent so super agent uh, I'm not really too sure what super agent um I just think of it like this that super agent is going to be getting the link which is right here which is dot get uh, and then the link which is the source and it's going to be outputting it into a body and uh, we have the body here so basically the uh, body which is in squiggly brackets um, it's going to be putting it and I think the it's gonna with the dot URL I think it's just gonna be using that as a source to output it which I'm not really too sure but I don't want to confuse you guys or anything uh, just because you know I don't want anything weird to happen with your code and if you want you can do a dot set footer and we can do a set of parentheses and quotation marks this command was made by prime coding if you want, I could do a whole separate tutorial on embeds and what you guys can do with them and all of the functions that you can make with uh, embeds. But of course, if this is going to be your last line, you don't have to do the set footer or anything. I'll show you guys what that is. But you, if this is going to be your last line, uh, last line on every single embed, go ahead and put a semicolon on the end. If you're going to put a semicolon on every other line, you're going to get a crap ton of errors and that's not good. So go into a couple new lines and we're gonna do message dot channel dot send 
open a set of parentheses and squiggly brackets, embed, put a colon, and m embed. And we're going to go into a new line. We're going to do msg.delete and a set of parentheses outside of it. And right now, that's just it. So basically, what this msg, which msg stands for message, dot delete is, um, it's basically the, it's basically deleting, uh, the generating. Uh, you can put whatever you want here. It can be, I'm generating the picture for you, or whatever you want. Um, this is just deleting the, uh, generating, uh, text or whatever else you have there. So obviously, we're going to save it. And we're going to pull up the terminal. Oh no. Huh. This isn't good. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm just. Oh, good. All right. Give me two seconds. I did this again. I don't know why this does this, but I'm going to have to figure this out a uh, different day. Right now, it's just not a ma massive issue. Um, so, I use Visual Studio Code to code my public bot Staffy, and I have the terminal open. Uh, and if I was to run it, it would be running two Staffies at once. And if someone was to use a command, it would send two things. Yeah, so let me close out of this, and uh, it's just closing out of this, so I'll uh, be right back. Alright guys, we're back. We're going to go back into the terminal. We're going to run the command, which is our node app.js, and prime coding bot is online. And if we go over here to the Discord, and if we do memes, oh no, meme. And it shows a meme. Uh, and this is also the footer that we put, which is the dot set footer and all that. But um, yeah, if you guys need help or anything, go ahead and join our Discord. The link will be in the description below. Um, we have a bunch of people in here, and we're having we're getting a lot more uh, people in here. Shout out to all you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, yeah. So that's really it. If you guys need help with anything in the Discord, honestly, it's just a one-shot thing. It's not that hard to do. Um, if you guys want to be, if you guys want to uh, request videos, just go ahead in here and go to the video request channel. And there's a bunch of things in here that uh, you guys can request. And uh, I made a new channel. There is a bunch more, but yeah, go and join the Discord. Uh, bye.